Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, we got a locust update. Swarms of locusts in Israel and Lebanon. We are April 29, 2021. We're looking in the spring of 2021. Had a little update from winter 2021. And by golly, these uh, locusts, uh, grasshoppers are spreading. So we're going to take a look at uh, Joel 1 verse 4, what the nine locust has left, the swarming locust has eaten, and what the swarming locust has left, the creeping locust has eaten, and what the creeping locust has left, the stripping locust has eaten. So if you go on to read the rest of Joel 1, a characteristic of the end time scenario is locust infiltration into Israel on a massive scale. The prophet Joel warns of a time when food production from the land will be scarce. Locusts will devour food and vegetation. So here we are, April 2021. Locust swarms have moved into southern Israel near Eilat. The port city is located on the Gulf of Aqaba in the Red Sea. And granted, this is as far south as one can go in Israel, but locusts have made an appearance in the Promised Land. Everyone relax. Animals and humans are not in harm's way, according to the experts. It makes you feel warm and fuzzy. The experts tell us, hey, there's no problem. Don't worry about it. Um, it's just going to be okay. Uh, northeast Lebanon, here's a map of Lebanon over here on the left side of the page, and we're looking at the area in and around the Beka'a Valley, or Baal Bek, in the northeast region of what is modern-day Lebanon. Winds from Saudi Arabia have blown locusts into Lebanon. The Lebanese army is using helicopters and pesticides to combat the situation. And here's a quote. This is from uh, Maurice Saad, or Saad. This is the UN Food and Agriculture representative in Lebanon. And he quotes, and I quote, to quote Maurice, it, it is a very rare occurrence. The breeding grounds were on the Red Sea coast, Saudi Arabia's northern coast, so they were blown in through Jordan and Syria, but so far it's under control and I certainly see nothing to panic about. <laughs> so we have experts in uh, modern day Lebanon, in Lebanon, and we have experts in the far south of Israel telling everybody, hey, relax, it's going to be okay. Nothing to nothing to panic about. Here's a here's a, a map, and so again, I'll take you to the northern part of Lebanon. Follow the cursor. This is the area we're talking about, and then here's Eilat, way down here in the. I mean, you can't go any further south in Israel, and it's down there on the Gulf of Aqaba. Give you a little scope. There's the Red Sea, Gulf of Aqaba, Gulf of Suez. This is where the ship got stuck about a month or so ago, a few weeks ago. But <clears throat> so, you know, Joel talks about a time when the land will just be inundated by locusts, grasshoppers, eats everything in sight. Food will be scarce. The only food available will be the grasshoppers. Uh, and these things are already a delicacy in uh, this part of the world. But backing up, if you want to read more details, Reuters.com article, Lebanon battle swarms locusts after wind changes direction. So they got blown in by a wind. So this is no problem for to move a whole bunch of locusts into Israel. But it does mark the first time. So I've been following this trend since, what, 2017? So we're going on four years. And this is the first time we've had some significant news to the point where locusts are actually in Israel. Um, <clears throat> but let's take a look uh, at some locust nutritional facts. Uh, if you guys have followed the blog and the post for some time. This will be a review for you guys. Uh, but for those of you who have not seen this, locusts are high in protein and they protect the human body against the harmful effects of radiation. Well, how curious. Would God actually put something like that into his creation? Knowing that man at some point would radiate itself? I don't know. 
uh, suppresses the growth of cancer cells. So there's a natural antidote for cancer. Also, radiation can lead to cancer. Prevents the development of heart attack and stroke by boosting the effect of blood thinning drugs. Maybe we should be eating grasshoppers instead of popping pills. I don't know. God may have taken that into account. Uh, eating grasshoppers, locusts, increases your immunity levels. <clears throat> Maybe that's the antidote to COVID. We need to eat grasshoppers and locusts instead of taking the jab. Uh, helps control cholesterol levels, again, which would help uh, combat heart attacks and strokes. And combats inflammatory processes. You know, the more you read, inflammation is what causes a lot of disease in our bodies. Eat locusts instead of sugar. And enhances regeneration of tissues. So it helps the healing process. So it makes you wonder if there's a hint of the prophetic future with <clears throat> nuclear radiation or some form of radiation when all hell breaks loose on this planet. Just eat locusts. Uh, fight the effects of radiation. Suppress cancer. Healing. Tissue generation. Increases immunity. We've been looking at this all wrong. We need to stop popping pills. Eat some locusts. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sounds like an antidote to nuclear exposure and disease, to me, just my opinion. So, eat up. Eat the locust. And by the way, it's kosher. Leviticus 11, verse 22 these of them you may eat the locust in its kinds and the devastating locust in its kinds <clears throat> and the cricket in its kinds and the grasshopper in its kinds. So these things are, these things are kosher. They're cerem ceremonially clean. <clears throat> it's good for you. So share with others. Tell them about the benefits of eating locusts and grasshoppers. Uh, if so, Turn people to paulthepoke.com. You can also type in your address, email address. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit subscribe. You'll receive notification every time we put something out. And this will be categorized under prophecy trend update. Um, also, one thing that's interesting, too, before I get into that, if you guys are still here, this region in northeast Syria, Baal Bek, Baal, I think many of you will recognize that's a, an area probably related to the idol Baal, people who worship Baal or Baal. And here we are in the 21st century, and this is the region of Syria, or I'm sorry, of Lebanon, that's being inundated with locusts a little plague of locusts for all you folks who like to <clears throat> worship idols a little point of curiosity and observation just sharing so please feel feel free again to share with others and um, if you enjoy this type in your email address hit subscribe be more than happy to send you something every time we put it out <clears throat> Wishing you all a great day. Take care. Bye. <coughs>